Hey guys, it's Jordan with Jordan Budgets. I wanted to pop on over and talk with you guys quickly about Etsy. I know that I left you guys kind of hanging from the last video because I was talking in the video about how Etsy did not launch my shop and then I went back and commented that they did. So I just wanted to say quickly what happened there. I think what happened is I, I created a new Etsy shop and then I immediately listed a printable for sale and the review came back a couple days later from Etsy and they said sorry for the delay, but essentially they were just saying they were being overly cautious and just wanted to check out my account before letting the site launch. So I can respect that. Um, it did, it was an unexpected bump in the journey. So because of that, I did end up making my own website as well. So jordanbudgets.com, but Etsy is now officially live. So if you would like to purchase from Etsy or from the website. They are both open now and thank goodness Etsy did not flag for any, I guess, real reason. I was concerned that something happened that was going to be out of my control that I couldn't help. I don't know. I was just nervous that Etsy was not going to launch. But after a couple of days, Etsy came back and said, hey, we reviewed your account. Nothing was wrong. So you are now live. So all that to say, I'm live on Etsy now and you can get the principle that is it that I talked about in my last video, the savings challenges, those are now live. So that's what um, I discussed. That's what, that was the first product that I put up on there was the Etsy, was the cash stuffing challenges. And those challenges are all things that you color in as you complete those challenges. If you wanna see that last video, you can see how I used this tracker um, or the savings challenges and it's maybe explained if you missed that last video and you aren't sure how to use savings challenges trackers. Okay, other exciting news I wanted to share with you guys. I did put a few physical products on the shop and those are all things that you can purchase and I will mail them out to you. So those things are all trackers like this one. So there are three styles of the trackers. This is one of them. This is the other. So this is the HP style. This is what I'm calling rainbow and flowers. So if you're looking on the Etsy shop or on the website, those are the, the style names. All of them are laminated with five mil lamination sheets. So they're really thick and sturdy. They also can be written on so you can reuse these over and over. So in addition to the trackers, you guys will get with the purchase the sheets. Let me put that there. Um, not sheets, I'm sorry, you will get the stickers. So you get 12 laminated sheets, like this one, trackers, and then you get 12 stickers that are customized to what you need. So the trackers go in the back of the envelope, just like that, and the stickers go on the front of your cash envelope, and they will contain your categories. See how that goes? And so that is the rainbow style. Let me go ahead and show you guys all of the styles. This is the HP style. So again, the sticker is customized to what you need. It goes on the front of the envelope and the back of the tracker can be seen from the back of the envelope. And then of course the tracker is inside. So whenever you're counting your money and you're doing your, you know, tracking your funds, you can put the date that money was added or subtracted to your amount and then your current total amount. So I'm really excited for this launch. I hope, ooh, loud truck. I'm really excited for this launch. I hope you guys are excited too and you will go check out either the website or the Etsy. I don't have a preference on which one you use, whatever you feel more comfortable with. If you feel comfortable using my Shopify website, jordanbudgets.com, that is amazing. If you feel better using Etsy, that is amazing. I appreciate you guys checking it out either way. So again, so this is the flowers. Again, the customized sticker goes on the front. And the tracker is in the back. So whenever you're flipping through, you get both the sticker and the back design, which I thought was really fun. Of course, I created it. So of course, I'm excited about it. But I hope you guys are excited about these as well and you will go check it out. Now, I did briefly want to talk about in this video too, because as you can see, my binders are expanding. I think when I started YouTube and cash stuffing a month ago, I had two binders. Maybe I had three. Either way, now I have four. So I wanted to talk quickly about how I use my binders and why I have so many of them. So this one is the 
binder that I use every single day. This comes with me when I go out. So it's for groceries, car for the gas, fast food, etc. Fun, you know, money for my kids. That is their allowance money. This binder comes with me. It's in my purse every day. So that is like an everyday need binder. I probably put $100, $150 in this binder. Actually, that's a lie. I know exactly what I put in this binder. And it's about $200 typically because groceries gets $100. Everything else gets about $100 total. This binder is now for my challenges. So all of my challenges are separated, which I was not doing before. But I've increased the amount of challenges I'm doing. So I put them all in their own binder. Next is sinking funds. So sinking funds is everything that I'm putting money away for that I should not need this week, this month necessarily, and so on. So like I'm making a moving trip sometime in the next couple months, and that is what this sinking fund is for. Haircuts, we only need this once a month or once every six weeks or so. Business expenses. So this is where money just sort of sits and stacks up until I need it. And then at that point, I might move it to my everyday binder, the binder that I'm keeping with me. And just to backtrack a little bit, okay, to backtrack a little bit, I did add payments in here. I hope you cannot see social security card and such behind there. Um, but I added payments. Payments is when I need to take out money for haircuts, something like that. It's going to go in that payments section. It's just what makes sense to me. So whenever I have money that is for an unusual need or not an everyday need, it's going to go into that payments and I will know what it's for, even though the label doesn't say haircuts and whatnot. Okay. And the final binder. And if you are curious, all of these binders can be found very cheaply on Amazon. Please check out the links below. You can buy them all over the internet. And honestly, I thought about putting them in my shop, but the cheapest option for me and for you is for you just to purchase it off of Amazon, at least until I've reached the point where I'm buying them wholesale. But I don't want to buy them off Amazon and then have to charge you shipping when you can get it from Amazon and not pay shipping. So check the links below if you want the actual binder itself and the actual envelopes. Because you can get those depending on the style you pick because both of these styles are on Amazon. Depending on the style, you can get it from anywhere from $11 or $12 if you catch a sale to $18 tops if you aren't, it, you know, depending on the style you choose again. So that includes the binder and the envelopes. And then what I'm selling is just the stickers and the trackers that are on the inside. So I just wanted to mention that. Definitely check out the Amazon link below because it's not in my shop and I don't want you trying to figure out by yourself where to buy the binder. All right, and then this next, last, the last binder is for all of my bills. So all of this comes out once a month. It's not something that I need on the regular, but I do go ahead and track my bills in here. So I don't let it sit in my account. If I let it sit in my account and try to build up until the bill is due, then I end up spending it and I'm kind of scrounging around for money. So I got to go ahead and pull money from the bank every single month. Scratch that every single week. I pull money from the bank every single week and just go ahead and start stashing it away towards all of my bills. So I have rent, preschool, electric, you know, your typical bills. My boys are in gymnastics. So all of those things are in this binder. So that is it. Very excited for my new Etsy shop. I hope you guys will check it out and I hope you're excited about the things as I am. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below or email me at jordanbudgets.com. As always, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you again tomorrow for a cash stuffing video. All right. Bye-bye.